Hey guys, Logan here, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today, we're here at the new White Hart Lane, the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for Chelsea versus Tottenham. I'm excited for it. It's already been getting a little bit fierce between both the fans. It's one of the biggest games in the Premier League, and you can already feel the atmosphere. You know, there's only one point that separates these two teams, even though the goal difference is crazy. Chelsea have goal difference of like eight, and Spurs is equal. So, I don't know how this game is going to go. It's going to be Lukaku versus Son and Kane, a very strong Spurs lineup, and Chelsea without Kante and Mendy, but they have Lukaku. So, it is going to be a good game. Let's get some fans in. Let's get into the game. Let's go. Right, we've got Cameron here, Spurs fan against Chelsea. What do you reckon today? I'm going 2-1 today. 2-1? You know. What to Spurs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What we'll brings your confidence? We're going very attacking. Yeah? I'm going 2-1, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's to score? Kane's son? The Soso and son. Right, we've got Jasha back in the video. It's been a while, mate. Yeah, it's been a while, but at uni, so... And lockdowns. COVID, yeah, yeah. Everything. It's Everything. been so long, but yeah. we're here for a big game. Massive game. How do you feel? I was nervous until I saw the team news. Yeah. Made me a lot more confident. Obviously, Edgar Bello starting, Romero starting, mm. Son in the team. So, yeah, I'm quietly confident. Um, I think it's going to be similar to City game. I'm going to go 1 0 Spurs. We're K not firing at the moment. Only for so, England. Yeah, only for England. Yeah. His head's not there. Yeah, fair. So, so, so we'll pull up the stops. And we're inside the stadium, and here's Dog Dad. What a tasty atmosphere outside the ground. I tell you what, today is all about Jimmy Greaves. He was a legend of football, legend as a broadcaster, played for both of these teams, and we remember him. Yes. But what a game this is going to be. It's at Tottenham, it's against Chelsea. Chelsea are in such amazing form, I'm afraid I'll keep this one quiet. 2 1 Chelsea. Lukaku is so amazing at the moment. Yeah. No Hong in the sun. 2 1 Chelsea. 2 1 Chelsea. The new Tottenham Stadium. Here they come. The great Jimmy Reeves. Not just the club's grip or goal scorer, but the finest striker in this country has ever seen. His 266 goals and 279 appearances for us. Still no nil here in 36 minute. That's our time. Tottenham nil. Chelsea nil. Right, we've got Max here, Spurs fan. But more well known for being an absolute live stream goat. Every time we did live stream during the lockdown, you were in there, mate. Boom out 69. Boom out 69. The man himself, Dog Dad, will be so gassed when he sees it. But what do you reckon today? Uh, I think we could score in the second half. I expected to get. I thought we would lose by like two or three, but I think we can score in this half. Yeah. I'm saying one new so, stars. Legend of the game. Great to meet you. Great That's to meet you. Right, Dog Dad, it's half time. No goals in the game. You got anything to cheer yourself up? No, well, I'll tell you what, I've got a bit of a problem with Mr. Levy. You know what? Because I went to the bar, asked for a pint of neck oil, all I got was an Amstel. They've run out. But he spurs drinking them all up. Anyway, let's give it a go, shall we? Yeah, give it a go, Dog Dad. I told you, we never miss out on the beer reviews. It might be half time. We still get it in. How does the Tottenham beer taste? It's a plastic glass, it's an Amstel. 6.6. Oh. Well, you know what? I don't that care. That is low, that is low. I just wanted my neck oil. I tell you what, dude, this is my problem. You've got a Beaver Town pub over there. I'm drinking Amstel. What's that about? Yeah, there's, they've run out of Beaver Town inside the stadium. They're pouring barrels into there. If there's a shop there, surely they've got to top it up. Daniel Levy, sort it out. <laughs> tell you what, that looks decent. That does. Doggy's digging into his signature Spurs pie. Let's give it a go. The Dogman Pie Review is back. <laughs> 7.5 out of 10. 7.5. Big chance for Chelsea here. Come on, 
believe it. Just come back out. It's not to Chelsea. 52nd minute, I missed it! Well, whilst we were drinking our Amstel, Chelsea have scored, I think it was Thiago Silva, nearly scored a second, so Tottenham have not turned up for the second half. Completely missed the goal there. They've also brought Kante up. 56th minute. Right, Chelsea taking the ball here, Kante is laying one up. It's gone! score for Chelsea. He never scores. He I know. just took a shot. I know. Chelsea fans are absolutely loving it. 60th minute. Spurs just falling away. It's 2 0 now. Defensively, it's just not good enough. Try to come out from the blocks. It's just not been there. Not been there at all. So like, since Kante's come on, he's just controlled the game. Obviously, got the second goal as well. He's just a level above. Timo Werner coming on here for Chelsea. Great save. No way. No way. Hugo Jeez, Hugo Lloris. 81st minute. I don't know how it's not 3 0. They were all over it. <laughs> They're all just pointing. I've been alone, Joe. One Spurs fan in there. He doesn't care. All the Chelsea fans are turned. It's a nice pitch, is there? It is like a lot of stuff. There's like a Spurs fan section just about the Chelsea yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah. It's mad. <laughs> Some Spurs fans have had enough. Goal. Fans are leaving. They've had enough. And that is Chelsea three. Spurs now. These fans have had enough. I'll tell you what, the Spurs players look dejected. They've been torn apart by a better team. It really is as simple as that. Yeah. They've had enough, haven't they? I reckon they can, I reckon they can challenge for the Premier League. Yeah. Challenge for the Champions League this year. A lot of people have packed it in. They've had enough. But these Chelsea away fans are absolutely loving it. Sam, Spurs fan. Are you right? Um, How do you feel? Gutted? I, 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 I just think that as a Spurs fan, it's just a repetitive oh cycle. It, 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 it doesn't matter what manager we have. We, we've had it with Mourinho. We had it at the end of the pot. We're having it with Nuno now. We don't know how to concede a goal. We concede the goal. We can't. Can't run. Yeah. He's, he's had enough. He's had enough. Right, that's full time, as you can tell here. A little new White Hart Lane, new Tottenham Hotspur grounds. Harry Kane's gone over to clap some of the fans that have stayed around. Not many. But the Chelsea away end is absolutely heaving. I tell you, there was one man who made the difference in that second half there, Engolo Kante. I mean, they'll be talking about his goal, but everything he does is so calm and collective. He's got a brilliant football in brain. It's a pleasure to watch him. He's brilliant. Yeah. Thiago Silva over there with the fans. Yeah, 
Azpilicueta as well, the club captain. They're loving it. Okay, full time here in London. Chelsea have beaten Spurs and it was pretty convincing, wasn't it? It was. I thought Chelsea were magnificent from back to front and Tottenham, very, very disappointing. I mean, defensively, not bad in the first half, but I thought the big names, Son and Kane and others, were oh. just non existent. Does Kane even want to be in a Spurs shirt? Because the way he played today doesn't even look like it. And too short. That is a proper manager. Look at the way they fight for the badge. As soon as Kante came on, he changed the game. Don't know what instructions he was told, or maybe he's naturally just one of the best midfielders in the world, which is also true. He absolutely changed it. Not only did he score, he won the ball back, Everything was perfect, and the moment he came on, Chelsea dominated that game. Honestly, they play like that in the second half, they can win the Premier League or the Champions League again. And I thought Thiago and I thought oh. Rudiger, they got the goals, but defensively, Tottenham couldn't get near them. Thiago Silva, what, 36 years old? Brilliant. Still in his prime, but for Spurs, it's shocking. It is, they've lost two in a row now, and they've got the North London derby coming up, haven't they? Yeah. I think, you know, the manager's job can be under pressure. How are the Chelsea away fans? <laughs> I tell you what, They're I saw it. the headhunters coming down the main road. They recognise you? I, do you know what? I put my mask on. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. Please smash the like button, subscribe for the next game you'd like us to go to. And we'll see you all in a bit. That is it. Chelsea have won it 3-0 in a bit. See Bye. ya.